Haskep berries are becoming more popular. These small, dark blue berries are not only visually appealing but also pack a punch when it comes to flavor and nutrition. Originating from Japan and Russia, they have found a new home in North America where they are quickly gaining a reputation as a superfruit. People love their sweet and tangy taste. The unique flavor profile of Haskap berries, which is often described as a mix between blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries, makes them a delightful addition to various dishes. From smoothies to desserts, these berries are versatile and can be enjoyed in many forms. These berries are full of antioxidants. Rich in vitamins A and C as well as fiber, Haskap berries are a powerhouse of nutrients. Antioxidants help combat free radicals in the body, promoting overall health and potentially reducing the risk of chronic diseases. This makes them a healthy and delicious treat. Whether eaten fresh, dried, or as part of a recipe, Haskap berries offer a nutritious option for those looking to improve their diet. Families can enjoy these berries together, making healthy eating a fun and tasty experience. But harvesting Haskaps can be difficult. The berries are delicate and require careful handling to avoid damage. This can make the harvesting process time-consuming and labor-intensive, especially for larger farms. The berries are small and grow in clusters. This clustering can make it challenging to pick the berries without damaging them or the plant. Each cluster needs to be handled with care to ensure the berries remain intact and ready for market. This makes them tricky to pick quickly and efficiently. Farmers often find themselves spending long hours in the fields, meticulously picking each berry by hand. This slow process can limit the amount of berries harvested in a day, impacting overall productivity. Farmers and gardeners are always looking for new ways to make harvesting easier. Innovations in harvesting tools and techniques are constantly being explored to improve efficiency and reduce the physical strain on workers. They want to pick more berries in less time. By adopting new methods and tools, farmers aim to increase their yield and ensure that more berries make it to market in perfect condition. This is where the slap rake catch technique comes in. This innovative method allows for quicker and more efficient harvesting by gently dislodging the berries from the plant without causing damage. This simple yet effective method is changing the way people harvest hascaps. By streamlining the process, farmers can now gather more berries in less time, reducing labor costs and increasing overall productivity. It is helping them to get the most out of these amazing berries. With the slap, rake, catch technique, farmers can ensure that their harvests are bountiful and that the berries reach consumers in the best possible condition, ready to be enjoyed by all. The slap, rake, catch technique is a three-step process. It uses simple tools to make harvesting efficient. This technique is gaining popularity among Haskap growers. It simplifies the process and saves time. First, you slap the branches of the Haskap bush. This loosens the ripe berries. Then you rake through the branches with a specially designed tool. This pulls off the berries. Finally, you catch the falling berries in a container placed below the bush. This method is faster than picking each berry by hand. It is also gentler on the plants. Slapping might seem rough, but it is a gentle art when it comes to Haskaps. The key is to use a controlled swing. You aim for the branches, not the berries themselves. A swift, firm slap dislodges the ripe Haskaps. This makes them ready for raking. The indigo gem variety, known for its flavorful berries, responds well to slapping. The force of the slap sends vibrations through the branches. This releases the ripe berries while leaving the unripe ones intact. It ensures that you only harvest the berries that are ready. Once the ripe hascaps are loosened, it's time to rake. A hascap rake is a specialized tool. It has flexible tines that are spaced apart. This design allows the tines to glide through the branches. The tines collect the berries without damaging the plant. Raking is a smooth, continuous motion. It starts at the base of the branch and moves upwards. The loosened berries easily come off the branches. They fall into the catch container below. Some growers find raking faster than slapping. Others find it a matter of personal preference. Section 5. Catching the bounty from cardboard to innovation. The catch part of this technique is just as important as the slap and rake. You need a way to collect the falling berries efficiently. Early adopters of this technique use simple cardboard boxes. They place them under the bushes to catch the berries. As the technique evolved, people started experimenting with other materials. Some found that plastic signboards worked well. They cut them into custom shapes. Then they attached them with duct tape. 
this created a durable and easy to clean catching system. Section 6. Slap versus Rake, a matter of preference, not yield. Some growers wonder, does slapping or raking yield more berries? The answer, based on observation, seems to be no. Both methods, when done correctly, harvest a similar amount of fruit. The choice between slapping and raking often comes down to personal preference. Some growers find slapping more satisfying. It provides a more direct interaction with the plant. Others prefer the rhythmic flow of raking. The key is to find the method that feels most comfortable and efficient for you. Section 7. Speeding up the harvest, the benefits of efficiency. The slap-rake catch technique offers significant advantages over traditional hand-picking methods. The most obvious benefit is speed. By loosening and collecting berries in bulk, harvesting time is reduced drastically. This is especially beneficial for larger Hascap operations. Faster harvesting also means that berries can be processed or sold sooner. This preserves freshness and quality. Additionally, the technique reduces the labor required for harvesting. This makes Hascap production more manageable and cost-effective. Section 8. The Honeyberry Farm, Pioneering the Slap, Rake, Catch The Honeyberry Farm in Bagley, Minnesota is a pioneer in the slap, rake, catch technique. This family-run farm has been growing Hascaps for years. They are always looking for ways to improve their harvesting process. They have embraced and refined this technique. It has helped them to manage their growing Hascap production. The Honeyberry Farm's success has inspired other growers. They are proving that innovation and experimentation are key to success in the Hascap industry. Their dedication to efficient harvesting is helping to bring this delicious berry to a wider audience. Section 9. Finding Your Harvesting Rhythm. Experiment and Adapt. In the world of Hascap berry farming, finding your rhythm is essential. It's not just about following a set of instructions. It's about discovering what works best for you and your unique circumstances. The slap rake catch technique is not a one-size-fits-all solution. While it can be effective, it's important to remember that each farm, each plant, and each farmer is different. What works perfectly for one may not be as effective for another. Every Hascap variety is different. Some berries may be more delicate, requiring a gentler touch, while others might be more robust, allowing for a more vigorous approach. Understanding the specific needs of your berry varieties is crucial. Every grower has their own preferences and techniques. Some may prefer early morning harvesting when the berries are cool and firm, while others might find late afternoon more suitable. It's all about finding what fits your schedule and your berries' needs. The key is to experiment and find what works best for you. Don't be afraid to try new methods or adjust existing ones. Sometimes, a small tweak can make a big difference in efficiency and berry quality. Don't be afraid to adjust your slapping or raking style. Maybe a softer slap or a different angle of raking will yield better results. It's all about being flexible and responsive to what your plants are telling you. Try different catch containers to see what is most effective. Some containers might be better for preventing bruising, while others might be easier to carry or more efficient to use. The right container can make a significant difference in your harvesting process. Observing the results of your methods will help you refine your technique over time. Take note of which methods produce the best quality berries and which ones might need improvement. This ongoing process of observation and adjustment is key to successful harvesting. Hascap harvesting, like any farming practice, is a learning process. It's a journey of continuous improvement where each season brings new lessons and opportunities to enhance your techniques. By embracing this process, you can find the most efficient and enjoyable way to harvest your Hascap bounty. The satisfaction of a successful harvest knowing that you've honed your skills and adapted to your plant's needs is truly rewarding. So keep experimenting, keep adapting, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Section 10. Hascap Harvesting, a Rewarding Challenge Hascap harvesting, while challenging, is a rewarding experience. The slap, rake, catch technique adds an element of fun and efficiency to the task. By mastering this technique, you can turn a potentially tedious job into a satisfying one. The feeling of collecting a bountiful harvest of these delicious berries is a reminder of the joys of working with nature. So embrace the challenge, experiment with different methods, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Section 11. The Future of Hascap Innovation in Every Berry Hascap berries, also known as honeyberries, have been cherished for their unique flavor and nutritional benefits. 
As we look towards the future, the potential for innovation in every aspect of Hascap cultivation and harvesting is immense. As the popularity of Hascap berries continues to grow we can expect to see even more innovation in harvesting techniques. Farmers and researchers are constantly exploring new methods to make the process more efficient and less labor-intensive. From advanced machinery to refined manual techniques, the evolution of Hascap harvesting is a testament to human ingenuity. The slap rate catch method is just one example of how growers are finding creative solutions to improve efficiency and productivity. This method, which involves a series of precise movements to gently dislodge the berries, minimizes damage and maximizes yield. It's a perfect blend of tradition and innovation, showcasing the adaptability of farmers in the face of changing demands. With continued research and development, we can expect to see new tools, technologies, and strategies emerge. Agricultural researchers are tirelessly working to develop equipment that can handle the delicate nature of Hascap berries while increasing the speed and efficiency of the harvest. Innovations in biotechnology may also lead to new varieties of Hascap that are easier to grow and harvest. These advancements will make Hascap harvesting even easier and more rewarding in the future. Imagine a world where every farmer has access to state-of-the-art tools that simplify their work and enhance their productivity. This not only benefits the farmers but also ensures a steady supply of high-quality Hascap berries for consumers. The future of Hascap is bright, and it's a future where innovation plays a key role in bringing this superfood to tables around the world. As we continue to embrace new technologies and methods, the journey of the Hascap berry from farm to table will become more efficient, sustainable, and enjoyable for everyone involved. The story of Hascap is one of continuous improvement and endless possibilities, driven by a passion for excellence and a commitment to innovation.